welcome back to my shed. Um, in the last part, I drilled all the, um, the string through holes and the mounting screws for the bridge, and also put in the um, string ferrules as well. So the next part is the finishing of the body. So I'm just going to lightly rub it down with some 800 grit and um, give it a couple of coats of clear and see how she turns out. Okay, yeah, I've just put a light um, spray of um, clear sealant over the top of it just to contain the colour. And now I'm just going to rub it back lightly and then proceed to put on probably about anywhere between 6 and 10 coats of, of clear. I'm using um, Crystal Clear by White Knight. Um, previous to that, I've used Rust-Oleum, which has worked really well. Hopefully this one, yeah, this one is dearer, so hopefully it will be better. Uh, dries in 10 minutes. So yeah, just give it a light sand. So we just need to scuff the surface, we don't really do much more than that. Just give it something to adhere to, and take any really high spots off and stuff like that. Don't want to go too aggressive. The most you want to do is 800 grit. I've seen people do it with 400 and 600, but you can't see the point. Of it. Just be careful you don't stand through the clear end of the colour. So we take the colour out. But as much as you want to do. There's a couple of low spots in this guitar with the rippling in the veneer, but I'm say I'm not overly concerned about it.
it all over with a cloth. Just get all the dust and that off it. The biggest thing you have problems with when you're spraying guitars is dust flicks settling on the guitar after you sprayed it. Unfortunately it's pretty hot in the shed at the moment and I've got a fan going which is not ideal. I might turn it off while we're doing some spraying. do the back first and um, do the sides and do the top after that's touch dried in 10 minutes. Okay just a light coat, you don't have to be too heavy otherwise you'll get runs. pretty well about it. Okay I've given that about six coats on all sides of the guitar. But as I say I've just used that white knight crystal clear acrylic. It seems to come up pretty shiny just on its own but I'm going to rub it back now with 2000 grit and I'm going to use the power sander. Unfortunately I couldn't get the right size so I've just had to use the round one on the sort of triangle shaped sander but um, yeah just going to rub it back lightly so get rid of any high spots and imperfections and then um, give it a buff and polish and see what comes up. That's been sitting now for probably about 48 hours and it feels pretty dry so I'm pretty happy that we should be able to sand it back and get a reasonable finish on it. Get a clean cough and get a wipe over. Okay, it's about as much as I'm going to do sanding wise. Seems to be coming up pretty good. smooth okay next step I'm going to do is uh, cut and polish on the on the finish now I use this Meguiar's ultimate compound, compound it's pretty dear it's about $39 a bottle but I've had this for ages and I've used it on other guitars as well as cars and it's a really good compound it's not too harsh uh, brings up a really nice shine and give it a polish afterwards. 
I'm also using this soft um, foam sponge just to put the cut and polish on. I might spritz a bit of water on as we go and keep it lubricated. I'm just going to use a drill. See how we go, see how it comes up. Just move that around the guitar like so. Just spread it on. Here comes the fun part. Polishing her up. Let's hope she works out well. Not putting too much pressure on it, just um, steady, steady. So I don't forget to let it get too dry, because if it gets too dry, It'll start to burn the thing if uh, you don't want to be staying in one spot and just hammering into it. And just spritz a bit of water on it. Okay, a bit of trouble getting all that polish out of the string holes, but it'll be right, we'll work it out. But um, just give that a rub off. I don't know if you can see that shine already, but she's looking pretty good. So, okay, I really can't fault that because it's not too harsh. You can do a bit of a look at that already. There is some slight pitting in it, but overall, I'm not overly concerned about that. I mean, it's not like a showroom guitar, but it's got a bloody nice shine on it, that's for sure. Probably needs a little bit more around the edges. Better buff off. And to me, that's pretty bloody damn good. It's a lot like glass. You see a definite glass like shine to the whole guitar. It's exactly what I was looking for. There's a slight bit of pitting in the finish, but I'm not, as I said, I'm not overly con concerned about that, but the overall shine to me is beautiful. Okay, we'll flip it over and do the rest of the guitar.
Okay, I'm just going to um, do some light hand sanding as well because as I mentioned earlier on in the earlier videos, there is quite a bit of unevenness in the in the veneer, some valleys and bits and pieces, so I just want to clean them up with some 2000 grit. Just so when I put the polish on, it um, glosses it right up. Okay, I'm starting the polishing. From that to that. Pretty happy with that shine. Okay, I'll do the front. This is a bit that I'm looking forward to. Yeah, spread that around so it doesn't flick all over the place. Okay, I'll give that a buff off. I might go over it again and say so there's a few imperfections in the top, so I'm expecting it to be about 100% on the first pass. Coming up pretty good there. All the work that you put in for the preparation, this is the result you get. So you only get as good as a result as the preparation that you put in. So all that sanding, grain filling, this is the result you get. So that's coming up pretty damn good. I'm going to back run back over that, but I'll take that off camera. And I'll do the sides. Then the next part is fitting up all the kit to it. So thanks for watching. Um, yeah, hope you enjoyed it so far. And we'll catch you on the, the final one, which we'll be putting the guitar together. Cheers.